So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the next 40 hours. So November 16th until the 18th. I know it's so strange with me being on camera. I pop in randomly, so I don't know how long I'm gonna keep up with this, but it feels so good to see you guys or to let you guys see me because I can't see you. All right, so <laughs> I don't know how that works, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. Of course, any information you need will be listed in the description. And let's jump straight into the reading. Now, kind of getting into what I'm feeling intuitively before I even pull the cards. This feels like you guys are really starting to like get to a, a point of either reaching your breaking point with certain people or certain things, um, or you're starting to realize like certain things between you and another person are just unforgivable. Like you guys will never be able to get past certain gripes or issues you guys have with each other. Okay, um, whether that's them acting that way towards you or you acting that way towards this person. Um, another thing I'm feeling intuitively um, a lot of you guys have been just like trying to make sense of things it just feels like confusion around where you stand with certain people or where you stand just in life like what is spirit really trying to direct like what is spirit trying to direct you towards that's what you're really trying to understand The card I have, we have Accept Happiness and Good Fortune. It's the Ladybug card. You can call on Archangel Per, Per, Pre, Pre -mil Minalik. Pre Minalik. Yes, Pre Minalik. There you go. Hmm. Accept Happiness and Good Fortune. I kind of felt that. So this is you guys kind of dealing with pessimism being your downfall. Okay. Being pessimistic can be very helpful if used in the right way. Um, this is like seeing faults where, you know, you can improve and where you can, you know, maybe shift things, but never let pessimism or being pessimistic talk you out of doing things that you need to do. Okay. Whether that's getting your stuff together career-wise, whatever. This is like making sure you're not letting doubtful energy create unhappy circumstances for you. Present energy, I have the Hermit card in reverse. So you guys actually showed up <laughs> in your own reading. So with the Hermit card being here in reverse, this is drawing attention to you guys not really being yourself during this time frame. There could be things that are throwing you off. You could also be feeling as if you just don't really want to be secluded or to yourself anymore. This is like feeling lonely in the process of not really, you know, having friends around you like that. Or a lot of you may be so distrusting of people that it's hard for you to build relationships with uh, individuals without feeling like they have like a hidden motive, essentially. This is also you like deciding to, let me clarify. Yeah. So you could be deciding to stop trying to process or understand why someone's not talking to you or why somebody's being petty towards you. You may be just chopping it up as this person is bitter or hurt. Now, when it comes to recent past energy, I have the Page of Pentacles. So there may have been a friends with benefits situation that may have been of significance. This may have been another earth sign. Regardless of the zodiac sign, you really wanted something to come out of the situation or this person did take this reading how it applies. Um, but nonetheless, it did start off as a friends with benefits situation or um, a connection where it's like, well, let's just see where things will go. Um, you guys expected more to come out of the situation. It may have not necessarily panned out that way because of like little things that may have stood in the way, whether that was you or this person. Let me get this car off the floor. Um, with the high priestess in reverse, this feels like your intuition may have been telling you that someone didn't really have much to offer. 
like in an emotional sense or like an availability sense like they may have been dating somebody else and you guys would have only just been friends with benefits there's also looking at other money opportunities that may have been um the energy you were in now near future with the queen of wands there may be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo of significance, whether this is a lover, a person you have a child with, your child, a boss, whoever. This person may be pissing you off, okay? Or they may be very pissed at you during this time frame, okay? Um, there may be some heated exchanges or you calling somebody out for being a player, I'm hearing. Or not knowing where they stand, like their energy always being like hard to work with. Um, some of you guys also may be getting back into like your creative endeavors, things that you've been kind of like uh, resistant in, not really focused on as much as you need to be. This is you trying to get back into the groove. Card fell. Now, when it comes to what I see for the advice with the three of cups, be aware of who you reconcile with. OK, if you're going to go back and contact, deal with entertain anybody from your past be aware of what comes with that okay a lot of you are very much and i keep fidgeting with my hair i'm sorry guys it's bothering me this little piece right here anyways it's been a minute since i've been on camera give me a second to get adjusted um with the three of cups here when it comes to people that you reconcile with or that you hold near and dear to you or you have around you energy wise be aware of who you bring back into your energy or who you're trying to get understanding from. Because some of you, you're trying to get understanding from somebody who will never be able to give you that understanding that you need because they're just not trying to give you that. Especially if they had you in a third party situation, the understanding that you're looking for is not going to be truthful or you're not going to get the, the understanding that you're looking for from this person because they just can't be truthful. This needing to focus on also like accomplishments that you want to reach and not getting sidetracked. Now, challenge with the eight of wands in reverse. This is somebody being blocked that you don't want to be. Wait, this is either you or this person blocking each other and the other person doesn't want to be blocked. This could be an inability to move on from something that somebody put you through or them being unable to forgive you. There could be slight travel delays. Also, this feels like things kind of being held up a little bit in regards to that, whether that's like tickets or some sort of inconvenience that comes up on your end. That could be a challenge. Now, outcome with the three of pentacles in reverse, this feels like you guys stop putting energy into something that's not fueling you back or where there's a third party situation. It's like realizing why do I keep putting energy into a third party situation? Why am I putting effort and energy into something where somebody's not working with me? They're not trying to cooperate. They're not on the same page as me. Hmm. Yeah, so a lot of calling out when it comes to third party stuff. Also, this feels like um, if you have multiple jobs, you may be quitting one of them because you feel like you may be overwhelmed or something. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you did take something from this video, definitely feel free to thumbs it up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.